Hello everyone, welcome me back, because I'm back. Um, yeah, so I'm back and I'm going to be making tutorials next week probably. Well, I might even upload one this week if I can. Um, which this might be up this week, which today is, um, what's today? Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. Um, so, welcome back. And in this tutorial, today we're going to be doing part two of the version number two style audio, uh, Trap Nation style audio visualizer. Because previously I made a tutorial on how to make this type, this traps, uh, Trap Nation style audio visualizer only, but not, I didn't get into the compositing at all. So in this tutorial, I want to get into the compositing, show you how I did things for the original audio, uh, Trap Nation style audio visualizer. And this version is version number two. I'm just calling it a uh, number just so that you can really, um, wait, so that you can really know which one I'm talking about. Um, so let's get into it. So first of all, I started with the render layers. This is the flow of nodes, how I did, how I put the nodes in place. I started with a render layer as, al as always, and I end with a composite and a viewer. Uh, in between, we have the lens distortion, the glare, then another glare, and that's connected to the end output. So, um, let's go ahead and start this. So, basically, if you want, you can just copy this, or I can create one right now to show you how I would create it in Blender. So what I can do is just click on Search. I can press Shift-A on the keyboard, and then click Search, and then type in Render Layer, if you don't already have a Render Layer, which usually the nodes are usually turned off and when you go to this panel there's nothing there. Sometimes they're actually, when you click use nodes, there it will be added. So let's go, let's um, just uh, select backdrop that will put the render, the final render behind these nodes so that we can get a nice look at that. We could even close this off since we're already using the backdrop and we could even close this off so we can see and have a full screen showing you this full area. Okay, so let's start off by adding a render layers just to make sure. And by the way, you wanna make sure use nodes is checked so that it will actually use the nodes that we set up here. Okay, so let's add, add in a lens distortion node. We could either press spacebar, type in lens distortion. Oh wait, d does it work that way? No, actually the space part doesn't work that way. It only works for things like in the 3D viewport or other modifiers and things like that. So let's go ahead and press Shift A, or you can actually click down here, add, and then add a lay add a node. You can search for a node here too. But I usually just like the shortcut Shift A and then type in lens distortion. Lens distortion. As soon as you type lens, it pops up. There it is. Now let's connect the image little connection to the image on the lens distortion from the render layers to the lens distortion. Now let's add another node. Let's add the glare node. So I've been glare. There it is. And the glare that I used was a fog glow. And then I connected the image from lens distortion to the image on glare. And I left that medium. I left the size eight. Everything is default on the glare node. And then we'll add another one. We can just duplicate this one. As it, let's just pretend these aren't even here because um, we wouldn't really, if we were starting from scratch, we wouldn't have these here. So I'm just using them as a reference. And you can use them as a reference as well, of course. Okay, so let's connect this image from this glare node to this one. And this one's going to be changed to a streak, streaks glare node. And I changed this quality to high. I changed the iteration. No, I didn't change the iterations. I changed the color modulation. I'm pretty sure that's color modulation. Yes. And we changed that to 0.333. And I changed the streaks, the number of streaks to five. I changed this threshold to four. And everything is done. 
besides just the composite and the viewer nodes. That's all we need now. So we'll add that. Normally when you add or when you click use nodes, you'll have the render layers node and you'll have the composite and, and viewer node and the, the render layers will be connected to these two image inputs. So let's connect this output on the glare, the streaks glare node to the viewer node we just added. Now let's add in a composite node now. Composite. And let's add that below. Or we can, no, we'll just switch it so we can match the, match the reference we're using here. And let's connect this image to the composite node. And there we go. We are done with the node setup. That is how I set up my nodes for this rendering. And that is how it comes out. That's only a certain part on the frame, on the animation. So it might look different on a different spot of the animation, different part um, might look better. But this is just kind of, it gives you an idea of what this would look like. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you um, in another tutorial. And that may be any any amount of that could that could be a, t a new tutorial someone just requested recently, um, or peop or a tutorial people have been requesting a lot um, that people that I haven't released in a long time, um, and I'm very sorry for that. Uh, but I will continue to release tutorials. I th want to thank all of my subscribers. I have tons of subscribers now. It's just amazing. I have. Exactly, let's see, I think it's 716. Let me check it. I have exactly 716 subscribers. Whew. That is amazing. Thank you guys so much. You all are the subscribers. You are the people. And I want to thank you so much for subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next tutorial. See you later.